morning. It is Saturday morning. And I am going to work. <clears throat> I'm over it. I can't even complain about it. Made a potato salad. So we got potatoes. Um, the Yukon Gold type. Or Klondike Gold. Lots of names. Celery, hard-boiled egg, onion. Toss that in some cottage cheese. As well as this sriracha ranch from Trader Joe's. Exhibit B, we've got mashed potatoes, same potatoes, and then I added a little bit of this just for flavor because I didn't want to use butter. And then cheddar, cottage cheese, and then just kind of toss black pepper, salt, a little bit of salt. Um, I feel like potatoes get such a bad rap. I mean, obviously fries, but like I really like when I'm doing potatoes at home, like, you know, obviously no butter, very little oil, whatever it is. So um, also <laughs> clearly I love using cottage cheese for everything because I don't know, I just think it's healthier. So like if I need like milk or if I need half and half or if I need cream or if I need cheese. Okay, something I wanted to share with you, as you can see, this looks a little different. Like, it's not different. I just painted this thing white. And I use this Rust-Oleum American Accents um, Two Times Ultra Cover in the flat white. Not the semi-glossy or the glossy. I thought about it, but then I was like, this was getting really good reviews, so I used it. And it's so nice. This thing is still gold. But this is like a really beautiful, beautiful flat white like your ikea alex drawer white so beautiful so you can follow the instructions on the um can but what i did was i just sprayed it i used about two cans and i just kept spraying it in like really light layers until i was out maybe a can and a half and then i just let it dry and then after a couple hours i brought it in it's so nice i highly recommend this paint <laughs> now this thing is all the same and it probably will stay the same but i want a big round mirror i think um target has one for 50 bucks and it um it's brass so there's like some gold on like the frame and then big circle mirror here i think i'm gonna like that a lot also another thing i want to share with you is <laughs> this thing how cute Right? I kind of wish the straw was like a different color, but I guess I could do that on my own. It's from Urban Outfitters, and I had like a $5 reward. So I grabbed this. I think this is originally $13. So, like seriously, it's a disco pineapple. So all my drinks will be drunken from here. I think I can change the... Can I? Yeah, I can. I am so excited. Like, how cute is this? And then we'll just pop it back in. Voila. So cute. I mean, we're not going to put it there, but it's going to be there for now. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I want it to be like a hot pink straw. Okay, so we are off to run errands today. I have a whole bunch of stuff to return. It's like, you know, you shop during the week on the internet and then it comes in and you're like, well, half of this has to go back. <sighs> mm, okay. Um... What was I going to share with you? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the dry shampoo, the Pantene dry shampoo that I showed you guys last week. Gold bottle, black writing, super love. Um, okay, sunglasses, oh, hair. Here's the thing, you, I love collars. I like wearing my hair down. Today we've got poop earrings in, so it's like this, like lots of stuff going on here. Oh, my hair it smells like smells like work and dry shampoo I where I work when you leave work you're not gonna smell good <laughs> and I hate going places like after work like like I'll go like groceries or like run errands but I don't like going like places where I'm gonna hug someone or sleep with you know what I mean <laughs> that kind of thing so kind of like avoiding dates on during the week it's ideal um, but I can't complain can't complain been conditioned as a child we would go into work all the time. We started off like cleaning bathrooms and then it became just like, you know, more, more uh, complicated tasks. But um, anytime we would complain, my mom would be like, work does not smell bad. It smells like money. And she right. But you know, my mom doesn't play. If you, 
it's like she she has like this like sweet voice and she has that pretty heavy accent and you would think oh you know do not mess with her you cannot mess with her she's g like you mess with her kids also oh my god i remember because obviously we were all kind of bullied when we were younger i don't know if she ever stepped in for me oh maybe she did but i remember for like my brothers when they were it was bad for them more so and she would um she would have words um prada glasses I haven't worn these in a while i kind of like them kind of feeling this look Guys, can we talk about TV shows? There's this one show that I just finished watching. It's called Unreal. There's two seasons on Hulu right now. It is so good. It's about um, a reality show similar to The Bachelor and it's about the cast of the show, but more so the crew, the people behind the show. So good. If you like reality TV, I've never watched The Bachelor, so I don't know, but I'm, it's not hard to guess how that show is run. Um, and you like really nasty people and I mean both like not sexually but like I mean it's a sexy show but just people who are a little mental if you okay so you know like when you're watching Scandal which I love and you're like kind of tense but Scandal is like a roller coaster there it takes you up there's funny parts there's dramatic parts there's like you know there's somewhat of a break. With this show, it is at all times, you're kind of tense and you're like, and every time something happens, you're like, oh my God. And all the twists and turns are like, for every twist, there's like four other turns. They're just like, oh my God. It's so good. If you guys, I feel like I'm doing a very bad explanation of it, but it's raunchy, it's deviant. Um, I would say, is it like borderline soci, maybe it is like past that line of like sociopath, like behavior for some people. And no one is like a good person. And people, I mean, there are people that they really care about, but their ways of showing they care is also like very incredibly roundabout. Um, but yeah, it's a really good show, so go watch it. What other shows? I watched 13 Reasons Why. I didn't, maybe because I'm not a teenager, but I feel like even as a teenager, I was just always very like, I get it that suicide is a very serious thing, but I think if you grow up in certain cultures or certain households, like in my family, you can be sad, you can be disappointed, you can be angry, but what is depressed? What do you mean you're depressed? Like that's how it is. And I know it's like this in a lot of other cultures. Like the, the idea of like mental health is not, uh, it's not recognized and it's not validated as like a feeling or a f like something that is real. So, I mean, I feel like I could have been into it more if I were like a teenager I, I feel like I'm beyond that point of understanding not understanding but of relating to that show harlots harlots is good oh my god the handmaid's tale I love it so much everyone is cast perfectly and it has this incredible voyeuristic quality to it even though you are a viewer and you are watching this show you still feel like every part that you're watching is like hush hush like you shouldn't be watching and like you shouldn't know you shouldn't be hearing these conversations you shouldn't be seeing it's like you're watching the whole thing from a peephole it's so weird basically it's like this like uh it's based in the u.s and we've been taken over by a government that just puts down everything it's just you know imagine <sighs> they haven't touched on race yet but women are definitely not in the best spot like mm -hmm. Basically, the handmaids are trained and gathered so that they're basically a vagina. You know what I mean? 
for couples who cannot conceive either because the woman can't or the guy is sterile but those things are not recognized it's just it's so beautifully shot I hate to say it's like some kind of like Instagram filter because but like that's like the reference point obviously for modern times but it's just so stunning oh my god please go watch that also do not however watch girl boss I haven't read the book I just know that it gets a lot of hype and that a lot of women like the book I tried watching the first episode and then I was like okay well maybe this is just setting the stage because she's a snot and it's gonna be like she gets better kind of thing so after the first episode I started just kind of going to like I don't know I went to like do laundry and wash dishes and make food and stuff and I came back and I just kept watching it on Good morning, we are here, it's Thursday. I just wanted to vlog a little bit. I feel like there's like very minimal food, very minimal makeup sharing, and I'm gonna try and include more. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll shoot for, oh my God. It's like raining outside. I don't know why they're mowing the lawn. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this mirror, circular mirror. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. So it's from Target. And I said it was what 50 so I think I picked it up for around 40 with like discounts and stuff But I feel like it'll go even cheaper. That's why I haven't removed it from packaging. I'm not sure yet I'm like so cheap. I'm so cheap when it comes to like retail shopping and retail purchases um, but I'm so like spendy when it comes to like buying gifts or eating out or you know what I mean like I don't know everyone picks and chooses like where they want to like spend their money and where they really really like want to like stack coupon codes get cash back you know, whatever anyway so I wanted to share this with you this is the Pooween Pooween I feel like they're like in my backyard but I can't tell it's that latex stuff that you put around your nail before you put nail polish on so it's not like messy um, I think I generally do a really good job of doing my nails. Uh, when I'm done, I usually just dip a concealer brush and some acetone and just clean up right around the edges. And it does a fine job. But my nails have been looking really rough lately. And that's not why I bought that. I just bought that because it was like $2.50 or it was definitely under $3. And I thought that was pretty inexpensive for this. So grabbed it. And if it works, it's great because it's at Walmart. So the nails are obviously looking a little rough. <laughs> In the past couple of months, I've definitely not been doing them. I usually do them every like Thursday or Friday, but I just, you know those memes where they show you pictures of like, really ratchet nails and it's like, don't talk to this person, don't associate with this person because they clearly don't care about stuff in life. Yeah, that's true, totally true. Ugh, hair. How do you get rid of the powder? How, like, how do you do your makeup and not get powder? Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm like that girl. Like, I don't care about anything. I really don't. Also, oh my God, allergies? I feel like I'm prone to allergies like but I don't think about it because I'm not like it's like I'm more the person that's like if I vacuum I'll probably be sneezing for the rest of the day and then pollen I think it's like tree pollen that really affects me but it's been like kind of raining the past couple of days so I didn't think it was a big deal but yesterday for the past couple of days it's been like runny nose incessant sneezing and then last night my eyes were just like slowly shutting I was like I don't know oh my god is that like a frog Oh my god and my eyes were like slowly shutting I was like okay so I took an allergy pill this morning they were so bloodshot I put in eye drops twice and it didn't even get rid of the redness so I don't know if you can see um, right here late for work need to get going I am so sorry like I am genuinely sorry that this vlog has come across so haphazard but I just don't have time and I feel bad, and if I do have to work this weekend, I am not gonna put up a vlog next week. Like, I just, I can't. So, apologizing ahead of time. Dude, that guy just parked me, how am I gonna get out? Thank you. I can't. This morning, <clears throat> I woke up 
like six in the morning and I look at my phone, my friend had texted me at 10.54. This means that I passed out before that, which is really early for me. But the thing is that bothered me even more was like, I looked at my phone, I'm like, I don't even remember falling asleep. I'm like, this is a whole nother level <laughs> of, of work. If I do get a vlog in this weekend and can vlog this weekend, it's gonna be so good because I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's probably. I know that there will be like a Asian grocery haul. Um, there's so many cute things that I've like kind of ordered, not cute things, but like things that I wanna share with you that I've ordered. <sighs> Guys. Also, my brother is home. So he's going to Puerto Rico on Monday. I'm like so jealous because he was just in the Bahamas for spring break, but uh, so that was spring break, obviously, and then I, everyone has graduated this year, this May, and he has, still has another semester, so like most of his friends are gone when he gets back, so I mean that's kind of sad. So they're doing like a, I guess it's like a graduation trip, but seriously, Bahamas and then, and then Puerto Rico, like can I, can I have your life right now? Like I really want to quit mine, I want to just be like, no more! But again, I'm sorry that this vlog has been, even the, the way I've been in like the past few vlogs, and I'm sorry I'm late for work, I'm sorry my hair looks like this, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just sorry. But I will either just not put a vlog up next week, or it'll be an amazing vlog, okay? I will talk to you guys soon, hopefully.